Hey guys, uh, my name is Anderson Dijk. Uh, I'm from FuelTech and I'm here with Nicolas Brunet, uh, our great friend and client from yep. Canada. And he, for who doesn't, who isn't familiar with import racing, this is the world's quickest car and the only and the first into the five seconds with a four cylinder. Yes, sir. That is an amazing yep. accomplishment. Uh, we've been uh, happy to be, we were very happy to be the ECU that we've been using for a few years on the car already. Uh, this record was a couple years ago, right? Yeah, two years ago. Uh, I don't know if some remember, but exactly like uh, two years and a half, we switched with the fuel tech. Yeah. And everything come through after boom, 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 and we went to uh, 595. Then after uh, the COVID appeared, so it's, yeah. we didn't really come back because of the COVID and stuff there. Yeah, so. and, and over during these years, uh, one thing that's impressive on his setup is He's been racing for 50, how many years? 15 uh, for, years? With the same kind of motor, more mm. than 15 years there. So you have an Ecotec? I used to have an Ecotec in a, in a, some don't remember, but in a front wheel drive car. Yes. We also ran an Ecotec in a dragster. Mm -hmm. Then we ran an Ecotec, uh, we used to have another GXP, like the, the, the Greg Stanfield one there. Mm -hmm. And now we, we, we got it in this one there. So. And, you, and uh, for people, and he, they have a lot of uh, fun stories about the four cylinder, the four four plugs are enough yep. and uh, it's so cool to see a car you probably were the one the first one to be on a higher I mean really above most of the other four cylinders so you were leading uh, very very far yep. uh, for many years uh, I remember you've been the, the number one on the let's yeah, say we've been so, just I think just last week uh, they had a, a chart with the four cylinder the, uh -huh. ten, the number uh, they, their 10 fastest one and I think last week our first GXP just came out of the list. Ah, okay. The after, the first. after 10 years, that's cool. We went yeah. like a 643 with the other car. Yeah. And they, they, they just somebody went yeah. faster last week there. Or, and uh, yeah. it's cool that we have you guys have been, I, I think, the 620 record or 627? Yeah, we had a, a 629. And, and after we struggled a couple of years, yeah. then we came back with a. With with a, tech, right? Yeah, no, yeah, but uh, just a little before we we, uh, we, we still we had the, we put the seven speed in it. Oh, yeah. Then it went a 27, then a 21. Then we switched to the fuel tech. Then now it it went to uh, then Kaka went 614. Yeah. Then when he went 614, I was at home. And, and oh yeah. And then he became. By the way, Carlos, come on yep. here. <laughs> we had a, another representative from the four cylinders on he, the other side. <laughs> he he had a record for a couple weeks, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I saw him, like he was in Maryland, and he made the record, and I went to my sh in my shop and I sold the ballast in front of my car. I said, no more, no more. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, but that, that's cool because then you you went and ran the six so yeah when uh, six I think it was six fourteen uh -huh. I remember because in Orlando they were saying they will give a thousand dollar to the first one I go fourteen or fifteen uh -huh. uh -huh. then I said to my brother we need to give you the first one then, <laughs> then I think we went uh, was it what the thirteen or twelve or? Yeah, and then we went after a seven, then a boom, 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 yeah. and one, then a five, then a six. And, and yeah. Carl, a Carlos, he's a Brazilian, Cacada Wood. Yeah, uh, it was a challenge for us. Yep. Like I always follow you from like overseas. We are uh, like I live in Brazil. My my whole racing career yeah, was over there. in Brazil. So it was a pleasure being here and race that race in Orlando, that race again yeah. in Maryland, then in Orlando again. And actually, like it was even like uh, I always follow you, whatever you mm -hmm. did, and I like I never expected to be that close yeah, we've been to you or even in time. But you're not done yet, too. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what the future can bring yeah. to us. Yeah, but and now now he has the car back in Brazil. Uh, at the same time, uh, it happened that you, you, you were here today. Yeah. Yeah. And like, well, we're right there. like oh, Ni uh, Nicola is going to be here yeah. next week. Okay, that's great. And yeah. I like, it's always a pleasure for me like to be able to share information. I do this to mm -hmm. many different racers all over. It's like something that I really yep. enjoy. To share information mm. and yeah. it's good to be here today yep. cool and and uh, the reason we actually came here was because we've been you've been working on some yeah, I had mm. a big issue let's make it make a big year uh, we had struggling with big amount of blow by yeah and I've been working on the car trying on really my side because it doesn't look like but it take me 20 hours to come uh, I have to take up the racetrack and stuff so I need really need to yeah. stay home so now it was the time of the year I need to go or I yeah. will never go so yeah so uh, we yeah. change uh, we change everything in the car the only thing we did not change at home was the harness mm -hmm. and there, there was no link with that release yeah. really come here and 
was it really a pleasure to have it fixed and yeah and and, and just to guys understand we we all we have the hub dyno here that usually i always say it's like 90 percent of the cars that come here they usually are struggling or something and and not necessarily fuel tech related or, or you never because it's really a trick on this level it's tricky to find what is the problem when you have a problem sometimes so and sometimes it's just a stupid switch yep a guy just came last week from canada as well and ended up being a stupid switch, yep. uh, switch turning off because of vibration. But that that part of the game, it's it, if it was easy, somebody else would have figured. Yeah, exactly, out. exactly. And and you guys came, and the, the idea was actually let's do let's benefit of of this come and spend some time together because you've been learning, you have so much experience with uh, with uh, tuning traction control and your stuff, and you 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 you're already very hands on on the fuel tech. But at the same time, we could do some upgrades. Yeah, to we, help me. Yeah, we put the fuel tech, the FT uh, Spark. Yep. 1500 millijoules with our highest level energy ignition because related to the, the, the blow by we, we figured that is, it was kind of a missing energy on the ignition side yep. it's a combination of stuff and tuning and learning and gladly we I mean you guys figure well, a good result I think I'm pretty sure I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, um, I'm going to back home and then open the motor and mm -hmm. see but I'm pretty sure everything is all good to go yeah. and mm -hmm. make runs yeah through. and all the data look great and yep. uh, we didn't saw a, two, a world record no, on we'll, the horsepower. We'll, we'll keep it. <laughs> we'll keep it over there in another country for yeah. for a year or two there. But but, uh, but it's cool because the, yeah. the we we see the car has a lot of potential. Yep. You guys seen it's over 1800 horse wheel horsepower with actually less boost than you actually raced. Yep. Uh, and uh, we the, the the main topic here was fixing the issue, making sure the car runs good. Yep. Exactly. And uh, and there wasn't really any full no, runs. No, no, no. It's a full run. I really. Yeah. I really keep it at home there to, yeah. to, to, to a race or something like this. Yeah. Right? One very important thing about the dyno also is the safety of yep. being here. Imagine we try to do this on a track making passes. Oh, passes, forget it. Right? Yeah. It's too dangerous. So that's a, a yeah, very I, good feature to bring the no, car. No, I, I was like really happy here. because like, I had my car, my, my brother crashed pretty hard in the yeah. past. And every time I, I look at racer, I, ah, it's, they're going to, mm. gonna, so you can hit it. You can hit anybody. You can cut in fire. You can. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know yeah. if the driver gonna hit you. On the hub, you're you're safe and exactly. yeah, you're waiting. Me, I was waiting with her. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. and uh, one interesting fact, actually, Carlos ended up driving the car on the dyno. Yep. yep. That yep. was a cool interaction. Your experience yeah, with yeah. holding it was a, pleasure. a very strong clutch, and it was not very a lot of people that has that those kind of experience. Yep. So. Man, we Thanks appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for your help. I really appreciate hope, it. Hope thank you have you, a Gekka. good safe luck. Trip back. Good luck to go five seconds. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. Okay, five eight is now, eh? Uh, bye. Uh, now, uh, we'll see. Well, I'll be keeping. Go try to go fast. Yeah, no, don't worry. <laughs> Someone is behind you. Yeah, don't worry, I'm trying. No, but to be true, I'm, I'm really trying. It's yeah, not okay. a. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy. We're very proud to have. Yep the world's quickest and first to the five second import here. Thank you. Anyway, your, your foot is not on the floor.